In this video, we have learned that Superfly defense attorney Jacob Uriel is for some reason barred from practicing law in the neighboring state of New Jersey. And we're going to get into why that possibly might be. LA might want to go find him another attorney, but he's an idiot too, so it's all good. Enjoy, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. We the people won. We did it. All charges against me have been dismissed in Brooklyn. Without further ado, let's get into it. Today by Jacob Uriel. He was my criminal defense attorney. He's a former prosecutor for over a decade in Brooklyn, uh, deputy chief there. And uh, he represented me during this case. How you doing, Jacob? Thank you for coming. I really appreciate your time. Doing great. It's uh, fantastic to be here. All right, Jacob. So really quick, before we get into, you know, your analysis of everything and your breakdown, I want to show everybody really quick the the video. It is, you know, a very short video. Um, got escalated really quickly, in my opinion. So we'll... So before he was run out of the office by the bosses and the powers that be, Jacob Uriel used to be a prosecutor in the Brooklyn DA's office. So here's my thing. Since LIA recorded his crimes, they had that evidence and him being a, a convicted felon for a violent crime and not to mention just a huge pain in the ass. Why is it that these charges went away? Did you call in all favors, Jacob? Did you use a friend in the prosecutor's office? Did you pay them? Did Sean have you pay them? Why are you barred from practicing in the neighboring state of New Jersey? doesn't seem very transparent doesn't seem like anybody's really being held accountable seems a little hypocritical to me i can't do what sir excuse me what 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 am i not you cannot record the video inside your prison why is that because you cannot do it so you just can't do it because but what's the purpose of signing? I see the sign. I do. What's the purpose of it? Does the NYPD lack transparency, sir? Yes. Sergeant? Yes? <laughs> the NYPD lacks transparency. He says yes. Wow. Very interesting. Wow, you heard it there, ladies and gentlemen. His own words. Yes, the NYPD lacks transparency. Sir, you can't record him. You gotta leave. Who are you, sir? That is the last one. If you don't leave, you're gonna get arrested. Okay. That's called a lawful order. You man, girl, wearing moron. Can I know who you are, sir? I'm police officer Kuzer from the 61st precinct. There's no re look. Members of the public are prohibited from recording inside here. So if you don't stop recording and leave, yeah, that's a warning, right? So we're telling okay, you you so have now, to stop recording and I'm leave. I'm just getting a complaint for him, sir. Okay, okay. So I told, we're just letting you I know. I told you once, it's the second time. Yeah, I'm just stop getting recording. Well, I'm just you getting a complaint for him. Record inside the precinct. So we're giving you a warning to leave now. Okay. If you don't leave, you're gonna be placed on the arrest. Can you calm down for what? So as you can see, he was advised. He decided he wanted to play off around and find out. He broke the law. And he was arrested for it. So with this evidence, why were the charges dropped against him? All right, guys, this is a list from the New Jersey Supreme Court. It lists every attorney who was made ineligible to practice law in that state for various things, for administrative reasons. In this case, it turns out that the reason that Jacob Uriel was prohibited from practicing law in that state is for the simple fact of he decided he did not want to pay what would normally be dues, but this is for a victim fund. And this victim fund is for when attorneys uh, are charged with malpractice or sued for malpractice and the victims are compensated. He decided that he didn't want to pay anymore. Right, here's another view of it. 
So here's my thing. This, this part that he's required to pay to maintain his bar card in the state of New Jersey is literally set up to compensate victims who have been the victims of attorney malpractice. It is no different than a doctor, a physician having to have malpractice insurance. This is just the state's version of it. So if he's such a successful and responsible and transparent attorney and he's all about accountability, why is it he feels he doesn't have to pay for this? All right. So we saw the arrest video there. Um, so really quick, Jacob, how did explain to everybody, how did we come in contact? Um, cause it's not every day that I have, you know, a former prosecutor, you know, over a decade, I think 14 years, um, in the, in the same district attorney's office that was prosecuting me, you know, represent me in a criminal matter. So if you want to give a little bit of background on. And before he gives background, here's some questions I have. If you are a legit attorney, why does it not follow attorney at law after your name? Why does it follow professional corporation? That doesn't make any sense. And two, if you spent a decade and a half with the prosecutor's office, why didn't you finish your 20 and get a pension and then start your own law firm? Why were you run out? Misconduct? Falling asleep, dropping cases? Or were you just selling your soul to people like Reyes? at the expense of justice how you went from prosecutor to there to where you are now criminal defense and how did we uh come in contact well you know i i left the da's office after a you know pretty strong career and um I've, I've actually been a fan for a while um i've noticed that the the cops who tend to end up pushing towards an arrest are the ones who are uh the more aggressive ones and you keep asking to de-escalate but I, I i i'm a fan of yours because you not only you know stand up for your rights but you do it in a way that really makes it very easy to get on board with what you're doing because you do it in a very um calm way so yeah jackass is called condescending it's called passive aggressive and i'm guessing that he found you because you were the only one stupid enough to take his case so um i watched the video of what happened in pooler georgia and you know, I really wished I could have helped, but as a New York, New Jersey lawyer, I'm not admitted in those states. I couldn't help. When I found out about the Brooklyn arrest, I reached out and I offered to to help out if I could. And you, you know, wrote back, and uh, I guess the rest just worked out. Court date on a Sunday, so that was pretty weird to me. I, I didn't know what was going on. Uh, again, they had taken my property, my cell phone, as well as my GoPro. Um, yeah, so I went to my court. Yes, it's called seizing material evidence of a crime, you bloody idiot. Court date as instructed on the de just uh, desk appearance ticket, and the, the case wasn't ready. So can you explain why the case wasn't ready? What, what, why, why when I went there, there wasn't any, I didn't have a court date? So that's pretty common. Um, the DA's office has, especially Brooklyn, it's a very progressive office. The DA there, Eric Gonzalez, he, he's got a lot of alternative programs. So a lot of these DAT cases are already going into diversion. So they're not actually being docketed. Um, then there's another group of DAT cases that, frankly, they're 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 overwhelmed. Um, okay, got it. He wasn't let go because he didn't not do anything wrong. He was let go because you found a loophole or you called in a favor or you paid a bribe. Got it. Post COVID, understand? Um, there are cases that they just don't get to, and you know they. I I don't know. I'm pretty sure that. What happened in your case was simply that they didn't get to it uh, by that court date, which was a pretty big problem for them because the police only charged you with uh, the trespass, which is a violation. And there's only 15 days of speedy trial on that, which starts from the day that you show up. If you show up on your date, if the ticket's not, uh, if the DA hasn't began to prosecute you yet, then your speedy trial clock starts. So they, they had that issue right off the bat. Part of it is when when I hired you and you know you you agreed and I want to say you agreed to do this work for me pro bono and I truly appreciate it because you believed in the cause and and wait pro bono oh okay you blackmailed him I got it and I truly appreciate that I will definitely uh, keep your number for any other problems I have but um yeah so they had 14 days or 15 days to try to prosecute me for the um, violation the the trespassing violation so. Is that why? Because I remember when when you came on board, you had told me that they had charged me with two other additional misdemeanors, and 
did the police officers do that? The district attorney did that? And why do you think that that happened in your so just just to give everyone a little bit of background? Um, one of the things that I, I brought to your attention was the possibility that we'd be able to get this dismissed just on speedy trial grounds. And you had told me that you didn't want to win on a technicality if, if possible. You know, you wanted to actually litigate the the First Amendment and the uh, freedom of press issues, you know, that. But being a journalist, whether you're a legit journalist or you're a fake pretend journalist like Raz, that in no way gives you or him or any journalist the right to break the law because you've got a YouTube channel. Contacted them was upgrade the charges to obstructing governmental administration, which is a class A misdemeanor. And uh, that would give them 90 days of speedy trial. Uh, and I actually reached out to them after that decision had been made. I, I spoke with them and we kind of went back and forth about it a little bit when they uh, told me that they were going to schedule a court day for you. They were going to work with you. And then they called me back. Um, and, and then there was a technicality that I think neither of us could get around because of. So by technicality, you mean you called in a favor? in order to get your client off, even though your client's guilty as hell. Doesn't sound like there's a whole lot of accountability or transparency there. That sounds a lot like rules for thee, but not for me. Maybe Reyes ought to change the name of his hat to me, the people. Uh, frankly, they were being very gracious about, about it, but um, uh, if you want me, I can get into that part. Yeah, so basically I'm charged with this extra misdemeanor, class A misdemeanor obstruction and from my brief review of the obstruction law, it doesn't apply to what any of my actions that day. Um, again, I don't, I don't know why they added that additional charge. Was it to avoid the speedy trial? Um, you know, the 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 violation only has fifteen days, and, and a misdemeanor has ninety. Um, even you know, you you yourself, Jacob said it would have been uh, fairly difficult for uh, the district attorney's office to prove an obstruction charge. Uh, Stop breaking the law. Um, well, the case law um, usually requires yeah. some physical action uh, besides just standing there. Um, so I, I think they'd have some trouble with that. And so what you're saying is, is that refusing lawful orders in a police building in a non-public forum is not obstruction. He would have had to physically put his hands on an officer for it to be obstruction. That would be assault, not obstruction. Are you as baked as Sean is right now? We did want to litigate this on constitutional grounds, but, uh, you know, I, I think it was your call, but to, to consent to give up your fingerprints when they are already taken them forcefully. Uh, All right, let me see if I got this straight. You're saying that Reyes, uh, if giving an, given an out, he would rather fight? Reyes can't fight. Everybody knows this. It, it just didn't seem like uh, really consistent with the spirit of Long Island Audit. Yeah, no, and we, we had this discussion and I and we'll end this one. It's not it wasn't in the spirit of Long Island Audit, Jacob. How about in the spirit of the law, you jackass, you little sellout? This is why you can't practice law in New Jersey, because you're an irresponsible piece of shit. And that I don't know why you just don't pay your bills if you're such a successful, great attorney. Or is it that you're working pro bono for Sean Reyes because he's got some seriously good blackmail dirt on you? And y'all use that to get these charges dropped. Is that why? Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good one.